everyone, I'm back. And uh, it's been a completely long day. Of course, you don't know that, um, but <laughs> I do. Um, so I'm trying to keep my energy and spirit high. Um, it is, uh, this uh, video was inspired by National Carrot Cake Day. And I, if anyone doesn't really know me, uh, guys, I'm a big lover of real authentic carrot cake. Uh, there's something about carrots even in every form um, there is, whether it's cake, I mean baked, tossed, uh, blended or whatever, there's something sweet about carrots that I love. Um, <clears throat> thank you for tuning in and watching these YouTube uh, tutorials or videos, as whatever you want to call it. Um, it's been really interesting for me because uh, as a very creative person, it's always hard to come up with new concepts and, and things that I can inspire you on. And in this video, um, I thought I would do something clever with carrots. I know it's not carrot cake, uh, you know, day necessarily, but car carrots are the ones that inspired me for these arrangements. And I'm gonna do basically three arrangements for you. I'm gonna make a contemporary one living day uh, carrot wreath that you could you know, uh, lean up against your buffet um, or on your door as you greet your guests. Um, I'm gonna do a bunny ear, kind of a sort of a, a spring arrangement. And then I'm going to take these um, vintage looking um, uh, bottles and I'm gonna basically do something really, really simple like fresh uh, uh, greens in there with, you know, tying a, one carrot of how like this can all play together like so harmoniously beautiful, right? Um, so let me get started. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the simple and then I'm gonna work my way to the more intricate, intricate so I can save time. So I'm gonna take these three bottles that's already filled with water for me and I'm going to take fresh parsley. I'm gonna take this and I'm sure some creative baker or chef can come up with something really amazing, but that's not me. I should have actually invited one of my chef friends to come on to the video. That's what I should have really done. And for them to have made me a carrot cake, um, and then we wouldn't incorporate the carrot cake in the overall design. But you know, on the next video, I'll try to bring on a guest. And if there's any suggestions of who you'd like to see in my videos uh, joining me, uh, let me know. Um, I'd love to collaborate with some of you. I'm gonna put this away, throw the rest out, and then simply, I'm going to take carrots. You can take three, three different colored ones if you like. And I've already taken these wires that I've taped already with wax. And I'm tying as you can see right there, okay? Tying it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the bottle and I'm gonna tie it in. And then I'm, gonna, I'm going to curl the wire like this. It's a cute little detail. Um, I don't have to add any ribbon. And it kind of makes it quirky and fun. I'm gonna do this with the other two. This is fun. I, I, I think this is really fun. See how simple these parsley and these little antique looking, um, vintage looking uh, bottles. Uh, we took the parsley and then we took the, the, the carrots, the little baby carrots, and we made like little vignettes of it. So I'm gonna put this away. And tuck it in this way. And then I'm gonna bring my bunny basket out. And with the bunny basket, I already have need cellophane. Um, the oasis, the floral foam that's already pre-soaked. You can do this. See how like one technique of doing something as far as like using a certain material on the wax uh, wire, um, wax on wire. Um, it makes the handling of the wire easy 
um, because it has a waxy feel to it, where it has the wax on top of it. And in this arrangement, I'm just gonna keep it really simple. I'm gonna take some dianthus, mums, and all that stuff, and tightly arrange it. Um, I'm gonna start with my Kermit mums. So at that point, what I would do is, uh, you know, rearrange the flowers. So if you don't know that what you're gonna be able to use that flower, leave it long. If you cut it short, you're not gonna be able to salvage it as much, okay? I'm gonna take my wax. I'm gonna leave it long. I'm still gonna group it. Now some of you are gonna ask me, oh, is it gonna last for a long period of time? Of course not, you know, this is now for just visually purpose, visual purposes, but you can easily use kale, or you can put this in the water tube, or you can do a little glass, so the parsley lasts a little longer. I'm gonna take the wire, I'm gonna go back and forth and tie it off. And then I'm just gonna tie it onto the handle. Look at this. I don't know if I like it in the front or I think that's cute in the front. Here you go. So this is the second one that I created. So, you know, again, I uh, love what I'm creating. I want you to think out of the box. I think this has so much character and uh, pizzazz to it. It's, a, it's definitely a, a piece that is, someone's going to really appreciate receiving. Um, and it's fun to do. It's fun to create by yourself. And it doesn't take me a very long period of time. So I'm going to move this over and I'm going to start on my wreath. The wreath is a little bit complicated. It's going to take a little bit of time. Um, but I'm going to try to do a quick, fast version of it. The higher the number of the gauge of the wire, the thinner it is. The lower the gauge of a wire, the thicker it is. I don't know which one this is. This feels pretty thin, but I don't need to do anything really heavy to it. This is waxed uh, floral tape. I've taken the wire and I'm simply pulling it and rotating it. Some people make a mistake. They don't pull it and then they just wrap it, and that's a big mistake that you can do. Um, do that. I'm gonna cut this in half. I don't do this with scissors normal, but I'm gonna do it with scissors. I'm gonna do that again two or three, five, whatever, however you want to do it. You can mix in color. Or you can do an ombre of colors, like you can start with all the yellows and then you can go into your, you know, you can start with your whitish yellows and then the yellows and then the oranges and then almost like the brownish plum colors. Again, make the bundle. So, um, I ended up doing another cluster, but I don't like all this green on the carrots because it feels a little, so I'm gonna cut it down. And then I'm gonna continue doing the ribbon to cover the wire. And then let me dump this out, cut another piece of ribbon. It looks like I took a piece of cork and I ended up doing a wreath. I'm gonna cut this on the bottom so that, that cut doesn't interrupt and it's in the back. Like this. And then I'm gonna go back and make bows. I'm gonna do a simple like, first loop is small, the second loop is a little larger, and then the third loop is larger than the, the second one. 
and I twist it so it's like an eight going. Cut it, wire it, and then I'll attach it. So I make sure this is really secure. Came out a little bit more rustic than I wanted to. But you can definitely add greenery if you want. You can even take silk leaves, like silk parsley, if you find any. Um, you can do this in, with, you know, faux carrots. You don't have to do it with real carrots. I just thought it would be fun to do with real natural carrots. So as this is drying up, you can see we did, again, like one really simple arrangement, which is the, the vintage bottles with the carrots and the parsley, and then we did the Easter Bunny basket with the carrots attached to the side, and then we did the carrot wreath. So let me pull this aside, clean the table. Pretty fun. So now that I've cleaned the table, Let's talk about what we've created. Again, we did the carrot wreath with the cork ribbon that came out really fantastic. I'm gonna put this in the middle. And then we did the Easter Bunny. And great thing about it, this has wire so you can actually play around with it and make it like one standing up and one kind of curving down. This is your other basket. And then you have these three vintage bottles that we created for you with the little carrot attachments. So again, thank you for watching this video that was inspired by National Carrot Cake Day. We did a little twist on it. Of course, I should have had a carrot cake in the episode. Um, look out through all my social media, subscribe to my channel, and I thank you for sharing your time with me. See you later, guys. Peace.